All right, so I've uh, just arrived at Joshua Tree. I got a ride from a friend. Um, I'm really happy about that and lucky. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, what I'm doing here is I'm preparing for uh, my very first uh, Vipassana meditation course, which is uh, down the highway that way a little bit. Um, but that's not for another uh, four days or for another four sleeps, I guess. Um, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, I've never really done it before, but for those four days, I'm gonna be camping out uh, among the hills. Camping out among the hills. Sorry, it's kind of loud. I'm right next to the Highway 62. Um, and that way down there is uh, Joshua Tree National Park, which I may actually end up getting to. Um, I'm hoping at least. I mean, I got a few days to kill. For now, I'm actually just going to look for a place to just chill and get comfortable and, and decompress. Uh, I've got all of my guy friends and, and otherwise at the, the library right now taking care of it and hopefully, hopefully they'll do a good job. Um, I'm not worried about it because this, this trip is about um, finding my zen and recentering. Uh, I really like this spot here, uh, this corner of Joshua Tree. It kind of feels like a little like slab city, you know, you've got... favorites. You can get uh, a grass-fed burger um, and the gift shop here. What's nice about this gift shop is that you can get water in the back. It's four bucks for a shower, not bad, so if I need one, I can get one. I just, uh, I just took a swim in the canal yesterday. So. found my uh, spot for the night. It's a pretty cool spot, uh, tucked up on a, on top of a rocky hill. It's hard to see, but check out these giant boulders. I'll show you. I'll show you in the morning when you can see it better. But this area is pretty crazy cool, and um, I think I found a good spot. I saw a pair of little beady eyes oh, right over there in the rock formation nearby. So I think I'm going to be sharing this hill with a little creature, probably a desert fox. Um, it was probably pretty little like about not not too much bigger than a cat from what I could tell but I mean all I could see was the reflection of the eyes and it didn't seem too worried about me so I'm not too worried about it um yeah it's only like about six o'clock so I got a little bit of time to unwind and um just be alone in the, in the rocky wilderness <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, the sun is just starting to rise and I'm just waiting for it to get up a little bit higher before I crawl out of my sleeping bag. Sometime uh, before I felt like right when I was falling asleep uh, last night, I heard like right as the moon was rising and it's like almost full, it's kind of slightly waning, but the moon came up and this entire like valley over uh, to the west of me erupted with uh, coyote howls and and yips and barks and it was just like a good maybe 10 to 20 seconds of just coyote noise. It was chilling but like really cool. So this um um I got to sleep on a rock bed here. This is my awesome spot. This is kind of cool because um, this rock comes up at like an angle that is perfect for sleeping on. Oh yeah, this is uh, the valley here. There's still telephone poles going through it. I wonder where they're going to. And the city is... Uh, you can see a little peak of of the town just right in there. I walked in from downtown. It's not too far out. Um, but yeah, this is my spot. Right over there is where I saw those little eyes last night. 
Ooh, and then there's this big cool boulder. Joshua tree has lots of really cool big boulders. Oh yeah, this was my wind block for last night. I kind of tucked myself up in this crevice here a little bit. Oh man. Yeah, it was a good sleep. Yeah, check out that awesome moon. And these big ass rocks. This is a really nice shot. I like this. Oh, I'm wearing my awesome uh, leather and fur hat that Half Pint gave me. Oh, we're about to eat some toast. This is uh, one of my favorite brands of uh, cream cheese. It's actually not cream cheese. It's better than cream cheese. Um, it's dairy free. Freaking delicious. And uh, this is actually had never had this before. This is gluten free um, seeded bread. It's from Vons. And holy crap it's really good usually when you have gluten-free bread and you stick it in a bag it's gonna crumble into a bunch of crumbs and you know because gluten-free bread just doesn't stick together very well but this stuff let's see how it held up this stuff looks like it's doing great that's the butt piece yeah look at this this looks delicious huh dang i'm excited oh i see what all the power lines are going to over this side of the hill, there's a neighborhood. It looks like, ooh, this looks like a nice spot to stay. Whoa, that's a nice place too. Huh. Um, out for a nice morning hike and uh, I've stumbled across a bunch of petroglyphs. Well, not a bunch, like a few uh, small ones. Um, and stuff like this. Where it just looks like surreal. This big rock, how did it come to rest there? And uh, the rock next to it, those, those designs and patterns, it's, it's just so crazy. There's the power lines. Getting back into the city. Getting there. So crazy cool. Can't even believe how cool some of this looks. It's amazing. Wow, this is one of the reasons why I just love Joshua Tree and the areas around it. Um, it's just so crazy how things happen. Wow, looks like somebody put them like that, you know? There's these crazy hulking boulders. Oh, uh, it looks like this is a little punk kid hangout spot. Or some kids tagged it or something. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Wow. Oh. <sighs> Um, so I took the wrong way, um, so if I had gone the right way, I would have been on the other side of this place here, going that way, back toward downtown, which is further away than I realized, um, but I'm over here, and there's this big ditch between us, and if I keep walking straight forward, it's going to take me a really far out of my way so and I have this big backpack but I guess this isn't 
Too bad, I can scramble up that. Um, I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Look at that though, that's just picturesque, isn't it? Okay, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this away so I can do this. All right, I made it out of uh, out of there. There actually was three uh, steep edges that I had to climb. Um, you know, to uh, they're they're for drainage um, of like flash flood waters. If it floods around here, that's where it all goes. So that's why you're not supposed to be down there because in case of bad weather, you can get swept away and probably crushed and mangled and but you know obviously it's not gonna rain anyway um, I think I'm gonna find myself at uh, one of my favorite little cafes to charge my computer and drink some coffee and upload some of these amazing pictures that I've taken from my morning hike